the annual physical has become very important, I think, simply because people are so busy. Everybody has to be available 24-7. People no longer have the time to go to the doctor several times a year, so they really save it up for one visit per year. Um, so it's that one day uh, which gives them an opportunity to finally spill the beans on some certain symptoms or health concerns they have and to hopefully get them addressed. It really is important to see a health care provider or a, or a doc. The physical exam uh, really complements the blood tests and the other tests, just as the tests complement the physical exam. So what I mean by that is that patients can sometimes have perfectly normal test results, but still have a health issue. Specifically, blood tests are not going to pick up a melanoma on someone's back. Blood tests are not going to pick up if somebody has elevated blood pressure. There's also the issue of someone's having an ongoing health concern. If someone's losing weight, if we get routine blood work, uh, they may be all normal. But until that patient specifically states they're losing weight to a health care provider, that specific problem may not be correctly evaluated. You know, a common pitfall is that if you feel great, you don't need to go to the doctor. The problem is, is you can feel great, but still have what we call killer numbers. So you may not, or often you're not going to feel elevated blood pressure. Often you're not gonna feel elevated cholesterol. You may be unaware of a skin cancer that's growing on your back. You may be unaware of uh, an abnormal pap smear. Um, so it, it really is important that even if you feel well, it's important to go to the doctor to get checked out. Because at the end of the day, the, the mission here is really prevention. We want to detect things in their early stages so that we can appropriately act and not react. Uh, we're very good about treating things early on before they become an issue. It goes pretty much without saying that if you, most cancers, if you detect them early on, the goal here is to prevent them from metastasizing or spreading to other parts of the body. From a cardiovascular disease perspective, uh, patients that have uh, undetected elevated blood pressure that they may not feel, or they have an abnormal stress test, uh, or they have, they're not aware of elevated fasting blood sugar and may have diabetes. We want to intervene early on and not let years roll by so again, that's kind of the, the whole uh, premise of getting folks in to get a physical exam to catch things before it's too late. So most people, uh, when they go to have their physical exam, it's not something that people are really looking forward to. Most people would rather go to the movie and out to dinner than come to have their physical examination, and for good reason, but because of that, a lot of folks uh, will be somewhat distracted when they're here. Uh, being in a hospital or doctor's office tends tend to be somewhat uh, anxiety provoking. So with that being stated, it's a good idea if you can the night before to perhaps write down some symptoms that may be bothering you or some health issues that may be concerning you. Uh, I, I see it all the time where patients will come in, they just simply can't recall what's been bothering them. It's also helpful if they're on several medications just to bring the pill bottles with them. So again, they're not relying on memory. Like anything in life, you're going to get more out of your physical exam the more you put into it. Feeling okay? You're not having any... So the doc uh, really should just be the uh, discussion facilitator. Uh, the patient's words are really gold. The patient many times can lead you to a diagnosis or at least lead you to exclude certain diagnoses by what they say. So the, the doc or the healthcare provider really um, should try to facilitate, really try to create a comfortable environment which then enables the patient who is already a little uncomfortable being there to hopefully elaborate and express and sometimes talk about things that uh, are somewhat embarrassing. Honesty is uh, very important. Um, I'm, I'm not a priest. This is not about confession. Some folks, and particularly a lot of males out there, don't want to express 
uh, or relay that they have a health issue going on because it may not be very manly, uh, whether it's a, a social issue or an issue with erectile dysfunction, something perhaps related to stress, anxiety, or depression. Until you relay that fear to the doc, that's not going to be adequately addressed. You're going to go home, drive in your car, and be somewhat frustrated or unfulfilled and still worry that you may still have that health problem. The more you put into that visit expressing yourself, the better off your health will be. There's nothing magical about walking into a doctor's office as far as treating your health issues. A successful physical exam is effectively educating the patient to take better care of themselves and the tools to go about it so that the other 364 days a year there's a plan to take care of their health and wellness. Most folks these days are working incredibly hard. Uh, you deserve to take one day out of your busy schedule to invest in your most valuable asset, which is your health. And yes, you can feel great, but you can still have troublesome or killer numbers, such as high cholesterol, high blood sugar, and so forth. So you really owe it to yourself and your loved ones and friends to get checked out uh, once a year. The name of the game here is to really detect things early on before they become problematic.